In the meantime, we turn now to the breaking developments. We learned late today that the U.S. has launched new airstrikes on Iranian-backed militants. It comes after a missile attack on a U.S. base in Iraq. Also tonight here, for the first time, we have learned the identities of two U.S. Navy SEALs, one who fell from a ship, the other who tried to save him during a daring mission. The SEALs were never found. Here's our foreign correspondent, James Longman, tonight. Tonight, U.S. and British forces launching another major attack on Iranian-backed militias at multiple targets across Yemen. They're aimed at stopping Houthi rebels' attacks on ships in the Red Sea. The White House insists the strategy is working. The strikes that we have conducted ashore in Yemen have degraded Houthi capabilities. But so far, retaliatory airstrikes have failed to stop the Houthis. And it comes amid escalating tensions in the region. U.S. troops at Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq came under attack over the weekend. Iranian-backed militias fired 17 ballistic missiles and rockets. Most were intercepted. But the Pentagon says at least two U.S. personnel suffered traumatic brain injuries. It's just the latest in more than 150 attacks against U.S. troops in Iraq and Syria since October. And tonight, we're learning the identities of the two Navy SEALs who disappeared on that nighttime mission to seize these Iranian weapons headed to Houthi rebels. 37-year-old Christopher Chambers and 27-year-old Nathan Gage Ingram. After a 10-day search, the Pentagon now confirms the men are presumed dead. It uh, underscores how dangerous the mission can be um, and the dangers that these brave warriors are willing to face every day. The strikes hit underground military storage sites and Houthi missile and air surveillance capabilities. The U.S. and its allies say de-escalation remains the goal. David. James Longman live from London tonight. James, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.